Chapter 461 Not Very Suitable Yu Yan's actions were exactly what Yang Yin wanted. He wanted less contact with Yu Yan so that others wouldn't mention him when they gossiped about Yu Yan during mealtimes and affect his reputation. When Yu Yan didn't have enough money to contact her family, Yang Yin immediately took the initiative to give her 1.5 yuan, but when he gave it to her, he deliberately said that he only had 2 yuan and that his family had yet to send him money. Firstly, he could curry favor with Yu Yan and tell her that he had given her all the money he had. Secondly, he hinted to Yu Yan that he didn't have extra money to buy rice for her, so it was useless to look for him. It wasn't until Yu Yan's money and packages were sent over that everyone found out that Yu Yan's parents were fine that Yang Yin slowly began to take the initiative to look for Yu Yan like before. When Yu Yan was so broke that she had to live on sweet potatoes, she cooked by herself. Later, when Yu Yan had more food and ate with everyone else again, Yang Yin sat beside her again. When Yu Yin first received the package, Yang Yin realized that she had started to put out canned meat again when she was eating, so he reached out with his chopsticks to pick up the meat like before. When he saw that she didn't refuse, he was glad that Yu Yin was stupid and gullible. However, he didn't expect things to suddenly turn out like this after a month. In fact, Yu Yin didn't refuse at that time because other than Yang Yin, no one else would sit beside her. In the huge hall, everyone else was in groups of two to three, but she was alone. In the past, it was fine for her to walk, work, and be alone, but in such an environment, Yu Yin still cared about being seen as a loner. Yu Yin believed that Yang Yin really didn't have money, so he didn't help. Therefore, after she obtained the packages, she still chose to share them with him. However, this didn't mean that she didn't mind. When he saw Yu Yin leave, Yang Yin followed her and chased after her as he asked carefully, Yu Yin, are you angry? Although Yang Yin suspected that Yu Yin was suddenly angry because he had not helped her two months ago, as long as she didn't say anything, he would pretend not to know. He was hoping that Yu Yin was throwing a tantrum because of other trivial matters. When Yu Yin saw Yang Yin's expression, she only said calmly, No, I'm not angry. Women like to say one thing but mean another. Yang Yin had heard this from someone somewhere. Moreover, his intuition told him that Yu Yin must be angry. When he spoke again, he smiled ingratiatingly. Yu Yin, tell me what I did wrong. I'll definitely correct my mistake. If he had a problem, he could change it, but if he was too poor, could he change it? Although Yu Yin thought so, in order not to appear like a gold digger, she definitely couldn't say it directly. You're not wrong. It's just that I think we might not be compatible. This was equivalent to breaking up with him. At this moment, the two of them had already walked to the entrance of the village to wait for the ride. There were people going to town and the county today, so there were also many people waiting. When Yang Yin saw so many people, he was too embarrassed to suck up to Yu Yin like before. He could only remain silent for the time being and follow Yu Yin. Yu Yin felt even more unhappy when she saw this. When she spoke again, her voice was even colder. Yang Yin, go back. I'm going to send a letter. Since Yu Yin had spoken, Yang Yin had no choice but to respond. After he thought for a moment, he made up his mind and said in a low voice, We haven't seen a movie in a long time. There should be a new movie screening soon, so I want to bring you to see it. Although today isn't a holiday, it's the first day of the new year. Moreover, you didn't eat much meat last night, so I'll bring you to a restaurant. My family wired me 10 yuan last week. The moment I received the money, I started planning to bring you out to play today. Yu Yin looked at Yang Yin in surprise. After the two of them got together, Yang Yin had never given her anything more than 5 yuan. The meat she had treated him to was more than this amount. Usually, she was worried that he would be hungry, so she would give him snacks and biscuits from time to time. Seeing that Yang Yin planned to surprise her even though he didn't have money, Yu Yin felt a little touched and wavered in her decision to break up with him. After all, Yang Yin had a huge advantage that others didn't have. After marrying him, it would be easier for her to return to her original family. She lowered her head and didn't say anything, but she didn't insist on entering the city alone like before. Having a fight? It's good to be young. It's only at this time that men lower their heads and curry favor with us women. They don't take women seriously anymore after getting married. When I was dating my husband, he never lowered his head to me like this. Now that I think about it, I really suffered a loss. There were quite a few people who wanted to marry me back then. The women waiting by the side teased the two of them. Subscribe and read more novel to help us update chapter quickly. Thank you so much. Chapter 462 Persuaded When Yu Yin heard this, she was touched. She felt that affection was the only reason a man would be willing to lower his head to his girlfriend in front of outsiders. Yu Yin was happy, but Yang Yin was angry. He felt that his dignity as a man was being trampled on. But everything was for the sake of him returning to the city. Yang Yin kept telling himself this in order to suppress the anger in his heart. 
It was difficult to talk with so many people around. After Yan Yin and Yu Yin alighted in town, they went to the entrance of the commune to wait for the public bus to go to the county. There was only one public bus from town to the county city. Usually, it would make two trips in the morning and two in the afternoon. During the holidays, it would make four more trips. However, there were many people entering the city, so the bus was very crowded. Yan Yin and Yu Yin couldn't sit down, so they could only squeeze into a corner by the window. Yan Yin wanted to use physical contact with Yu Yin to deepen their relationship, so he held the car window with both hands and embraced Yu Yin. Yan Yin was tall and strong, and his strength had increased from doing farm work in the field all day long. Yu Yin was protected by Yan Yin, so she wasn't squeezed by other people. When she was in such close contact with Yan Yin, she suddenly recalled the night she was forcefully kissed by Yan Yin and her heart skipped a beat. When Yan Yin lowered his head and saw Yu Yan's red ears, he deliberately lowered his head and whispered into Yu Yan's ear with a smile, Yu Yan, are you going home for the new year? The two of them were very close. Yu Yan was a little distracted by Yan Yin's masculine scent and couldn't think properly. When Yan Yin asked her, she replied honestly, no. Yan Yin asked curiously, your parents can't get a permission slip to let you go home? Yu Yan shook her head. No, I got the slip from their supervisor yesterday, but I don't want to go back. Yan Yin frowned in confusion. During the new year, people would go home to eat fish and meat, watch a movie, go to the park, and go to the department store. Any one of these reasons was enough to make intellectuals like them yearn to return to the city. Thinking of this, Yan Yin was a little worried that his parents wouldn't be able to pull strings to let him go home for the new year. Seeing that Yu Yin didn't know how to enjoy life, Yan Yin was a little angry, but he still continued to ask patiently and gently, Why? Did you have a conflict with your parents? Hearing Yan Yin's question, Yu Yin regained some rationality from the ambiguous atmosphere Yan Yin had created. Of course, she couldn't tell him the real reason, which was that she wanted to make things difficult for her adoptive parents. For the time being, she didn't want to expose the fact that they were not biologically related, so she decided to tell Yan Yin half of the truth. They didn't send me money in time previously, causing me to break my promise, so I feel upset. If Yu Yin fell out with her family, wouldn't he have even less chance? Yan Yin advised, how can there be overnight feuds between children and parents? Your parents must have been panicking when they found out that your brother's life was in danger. Besides, didn't they immediately send money and packages as soon as they returned? In order to compensate you, there was a lot of jerky and canned meat in that package. This means that they care about you. Besides, you were sick previously and injured your body, so if you go back and eat some good food, you can recuperate. Seeing you have gastric pain sometimes makes me feel very upset. When Yu Yin heard the mention of nourishing her body, she was a little tempted. She couldn't eat too much now or go hungry. Otherwise, her stomach would immediately hurt so badly that it was as if someone had stabbed her stomach with a knife. Every day, when she looked in the mirror, her face would look sallow, which was completely different from her healthy and rosy appearance in the past. After Yu Yin thought for a moment, she was convinced by Yan Yin and said, then I'll go to the village tomorrow to get a permission slip. I'll go back in three days. Yan Yin heaved a sigh of relief and smiled widely. When Yu Yin saw Yan Yin's happy expression through the reflection of the car window, she smiled and said, those who don't know better would think that you're the one returning to the city for the new year. By the way, did your parents get a permission slip for you? Yan Yin sighed. There's no news yet. Previously, Yan Yin had lied and said that his father was a supervisor in the factory, but his father was actually an ordinary worker. Ordinary workers might not be able to pull strings because the person who issued the permission slip had to be responsible. If the intellectuals took the opportunity to run away and didn't return to the village, the person who issued the permission slip would be implicated. Subscribe and read more novel to help us update chapter quickly. Thank you so much. Chapter 463 Seduction There actually were not many people who would run. Without permission slips, they couldn't go anywhere, but people had escaped before. As long as they were not discovered by the patrols on the street, who would know that you were an intellectual who had moved to the countryside? Therefore, the people who issued permission slips were very strict and the only exceptions were when someone in the family was seriously ill or there were other emergencies. However, if the applicant was a small supervisor in the factory, since they were all management level, they would be willing to cut them some slack and probably wouldn't refuse. For example, Yu Yan's parents were both cadres. She didn't want to go back, but her family had the ability to help her go back. Therefore, Yu Yin was very puzzled when she heard this. Your father is a workshop director, so he should be able to handle it. You didn't go back last year either. Yan Yin revealed a helpless expression. My father's principle is to do things through legitimate methods and serve the people wholeheartedly. However, the person in charge of writing the permission slip is selfish and likes to abuse his power. He's different from my father. 
the two of them are arch enemies, so it's quite difficult for me to go back. When Yu Yin heard this explanation, she assumed it was why Yan Yin was so poor. She patted Yan Yin's arm comfortingly and looked at him with sympathy. Then I'll bring you more delicious food this time. Yan Yin was secretly happy, but he still maintained an indifferent expression. The most important thing for you is to take care of yourself. You're not in good health now, so go home for the new year and see if your parents can transfer you back to the city. I'm very worried that you won't be able to hold on after the new year. This time, Yu Yin didn't refute Yan Yin's persuasion and lowered her eyes to think about Yan Yin's suggestion. Yan Yin smiled smugly. The two of them, who were immersed in their own schemes, didn't notice that two pairs of eyes were watching them. Yu Bing and Jiang Chun took turns riding their bicycles against the wind. The cold winter wind hurt their faces, and when the cold air entered their bodies, they felt as if ice had entered their lungs. Then, the two of them wrapped their scarves around their heads and only revealed their eyes in order to look at the road. She smiled and raised her hand to wave as she took the initiative to greet him. What a coincidence. 022. We're actually in the same bus. Yu Bing was very familiar with the doorman of the commune. When she parked the bicycle in the commune and went out, she happened to see the public bus coming. After squeezing in, she realized that Yan Yin and Yu Yin were standing beside her. The two of them didn't want to listen. However, their voices were right beside their ears. Although the car window was wide open and the wind blew in, there were many people in the car. Yu Bing and Jiang Chun were squeezed so hard that they were sweating. The two of them took off their scarves and held them in their hands. After the bus stopped, Yan Yin turned around and saw Yu Bing and Jiang Chun behind him. His eyes instantly widened. Yu Bing had only seen this once in her two lifetimes. Seeing the panic in Yan Yin's eyes, she was amused and wanted to scare him. She smiled and raised her hand to wave as she took the initiative to greet him. What a coincidence. We're actually in the same bus. With that, she turned around and followed the crowd out of the bus. Yan Yin was still in a daze as he looked at Yu Bing's back. Yu Yin assumed that Yan Yin was still thinking about arranged marriage. However, she didn't blame Yan Yin. She only felt that Yu Bing wanted to ruin things when she saw the two of them being intimate. Otherwise, she wouldn't have taken the initiative to smile and greet Yan Yin. Yu Yin immediately got out of the bus. When Yan Yin saw Yu Yin chasing after Yu Bing, he was so frightened that he hurriedly chased after her. It wasn't easy for him to convince Yu Yin to think of returning to the city. If Yu Bing revealed that he had lied to her at this critical moment, with Yu Yin's vain personality, she might dump him as her boyfriend. Then, all his efforts would be in vain. Yu Yin caught up to Yu Bing and scolded loudly, Yu Bing, why are you so shameless? You seduced Yan Yin in front of me just now? I'm gonna report you. After lunch, many people in the county city came out to stroll around, so the streets were bustling. When they saw someone arguing, they stopped in their tracks to watch. Before Yu Bing could respond, Jiang Chun pushed Yu Yin in displeasure. Are you crazy? We're all intellectuals from the same village. Is there a problem with greeting each other in the bus? Did they talk about something shameful? If you're so paranoid, buy a chain and lock him at home, so he'll listen to whatever you say. This way, you won't have to worry. Subscribe and read more novel to help us update chapter quickly. Thank you so much. Chapter 464 Pretty Boy She was mocking Yu Yin for treating Yan Yin like a dog. After Yan Yin looked at the surrounding crowd, he suppressed his anger as he said, Jiang Chun, we're all from the same neighborhood. Do you have to be so harsh? 1. Jiang Chun felt that her words were already flattering. Yan Yin looked down on Yu Bing in the past, but after Yu Bing became a supervisor, he wanted to get back together. He even invited Duan Mei over, causing Yu Bing to be complained about and almost lose her job as a tractor chauffeur. Then, Yu Yin kept provoking Yu Bing from the day she met them. She hadn't even settled the account with these two people yet. Yu Yin knew how protective Jiang Chun was of Yu Bing, so she criticized the two of them together. Why are you in a hurry to bark? Your master hasn't even said anything yet. You have such poor taste. You even pick up trash that I don't want. Jiang Chun knew about Yu Yin and Chui Jin's blind date. When she heard Yu Yin call Chui Jin trash, Jiang Chun slapped Yu Yin. Yu Yin raised her hand to hit her back, but Yu Bing immediately went forward and grabbed Yu Yin's hand. She looked at Yu Yin with a pitiful expression as she said, It's normal for someone like you, who only knows how to spend money to buy friends, not to understand the feeling of being protected by one's best friend. Then, Yu Bing glanced at Yan Yin in disdain before saying to Yu Yin, Don't worry, the things you treat as treasures are just trash in my eyes. I don't even know what's so good about him that's worthy hobby. Yu Bing mocked Yan Yin for being a freeloader. Of me coveting. Is it because he can earn 7 work points a day? I can earn 8 to 10 work points when I go to the fields. 
You like to use your money and food to support men, but I don't have that hobby. You being Makyan Yin for being a freeloader. Oh my god, I thought it was something serious. She's keeping a freeloader, but she's still so paranoid and afraid that he will run away. There's only one reason for a freeloader to run away. I know the answer. The woman has no money anymore. Everyone originally thought that they were watching two women fighting over a man. They didn't expect that Yu Yin was suspecting that her freeloader liked someone else. The funniest thing was that Yu Bing didn't fancy her freeloader at all. After Yan Yin saw the onlookers who were watching the drama, he looked at Yu Bing with viciousness in his eyes. Yu Bing, you don't have to slander me like this. I wasn't the one who arranged the marriage back then. Since we're both unwilling to be trapped in an arranged marriage for the rest of our lives, let's stay away from each other. Just because you can't find a boyfriend yourself doesn't mean you have to ruin my relationship with my girlfriend. When Yu Yin heard this, she struggled free from Yu Bing's grasp with excitement in her eyes. At this moment, Yu Yin felt that she had beaten Yu Bing, so she said with certainty, I think that's the case too. You don't understand how good Yan Yin is. He often buys me gifts. You can't find an intellectual who's willing to be with you now, right? You regret it, so you want to snatch my boyfriend. Unfortunately, Yan Yin is devoted to me. It's impossible for him to be with you. When the table suddenly turned, everyone turned their attention to Yu Bing. Yu Bing felt that with Yan Yin's acting skills and ability to distort the truth, he would definitely be able to do well in the entertainment industry. Yu Bing frowned at the two people in front of her and said in exasperation, Please don't split up. You guys have to be together for the rest of your lives. After all, paranoia is something you two have something in common. Yu Yin, no matter how pompous you make it sound, you can't hide how much money and energy you spent on him. It far exceeds the amount he has spent on you. Yu Bing looked at Yan Yin mockingly. Right? The son of the workshop director? Yan Yin became nervous and glared at Yu Bing for fear that she would expose something detrimental to him again. Yu Bing insulting Yan Yin was tantamount to insulting Yu Yin. They were a couple, but Yu Yin didn't know how to refute Yu Bing because she realized that what Yu Bing said was the truth. She knew that Yan Yin's father was upright, but these people would only judge them by what they saw on the surface. Yu Yin hit Yan Yin's arm angrily. Say something. Subscribe and read more novel to help us update chapter quickly. Thank you so much. Chapter 465 Leave Cooley When Yan Yin saw Yu Bing smile, he didn't dare to provoke her anymore and could only comfort Yu Yin, forget it. We're magnanimous and won't lower ourselves to her level. We have a lot of things to do today. Don't let her affect our mood. 1. Yu Bing sneered and pulled Jiang Chun away. Seeing this, Yu Yin was even angrier. However, she couldn't win against Yu Bing even if she chased after Yu Bing. In the end, she would end up embarrassing herself, so she could only vent her anger on Yan Yan. Are you even a man? You don't even dare to say anything when you see your girlfriend being bullied. Seeing that the two of them were still arguing, the others were in no hurry to leave. When Yan Yan saw everyone's interested gazes, he was embarrassed and angry, so he forcefully pulled Yu Yin away. Let's talk later. Didn't you see so how many people there are? Are you scolding me? Yu Yin glared at Yan Yan as she was pulled forward. Yu Bing had no time to care about the two people behind her. At this moment, she was chatting with Jiang Chun about what happened on the bus. Jiang Chun looked at Yu Bing excitedly. Yan Yin actually lied to Yu Yin. If Yan Yin's lie is exposed when they discuss marriage, do you think Yu Yin will still marry him? Yu Bing thought for a moment. Yes. At that time, there will be no turning back. Yu Bing was certain that with Yan Yin's methods, he wouldn't do such a thing without full confidence. However, now, there were three people involved. When Yu Bing thought of Yan Yin's angry expression just now, she laughed out loud. Jiang Chun wasn't a nosy person and wouldn't say this. She wouldn't be so kind as to help Yu Yin either. Vicious people like Yan Yin and Yu Yin should be together for the rest of their lives to avoid harming innocent people. Her blessing just now was very sincere. 1. Yu Bing and Jiang Chun went to the grain shop to buy some spices for cooking first before going to the cinema. However, they didn't run into Yan Yin and Yu Yin again. The two of them returned to the village after watching the movie. Yan Yin and Yu Yin sat on the last ride back to town. When they returned to the dormitory, it was already 7 o'clock. Before the two of them returned, they went to a restaurant to eat. They ordered two meat dishes and one vegetable dish. There was still a lot left afterwards. Yu Yin was a spendthrift to begin with. She felt that it was rare for them to go out to eat, so she insisted on ordering two meat dishes. Yan Yin felt rueful when he saw how much money he spent. Although he would eat them in the end and wouldn't waste them, they were spending his money. On this trip today, they had soda, melon seeds, and movie stamps. 
The two of them even went to the park to take a boat, and Yan Yin bought ice cream for Yu Yin to appease her. Yan Yin spent 5.8 yuan in a single day. This was almost one month's worth of his expenses. However, Yan Yin had no other choice, so Yan Yin spent an hour coaxing Yu Yin to appease her and divert her attention from the commotion in the county city today. Late at night, Yan Yin opened the door and took a look. He didn't hear anyone walking around in the building, so he guessed that everyone returned to their rooms to rest. Then, he left the room and locked the door before he tiptoed downstairs and knocked on Yu Yan's door gently. Yu Yan had just taken off her coat when she heard the knock on the door, but she couldn't be bothered to put it on anymore. Seeing that the sweater she was wearing was quite appropriate, she went to open the door. Seeing the door open, Yan Yin quickly pushed it open and entered. Yu Yin looked at Yan Yin in confusion. Why aren't you here instead of sleeping? After Yan Yin closed the door and locked it, he turned around and hugged Yu Yin to kiss her. This was the second kiss since the last time, when they were by the small pond. Yu Yin was so frightened that her first reaction was to push Yan Yin away. At this moment, Yan Yin was focused on deepening his relationship with Yu Yin, especially after Yu Yin confirmed her plan to return to the city in three days. Yan Yin was worried that Yu Yan's family would find a strong backer. At that time, if Yu Yin didn't even need to come back to settle the procedures and directly used special channels to skip the village chief's approval, the money he had spent during this period of time would be wasted. It had to be said that men seemed to be self-taught in terms of sex. The kissing and the masculinity emitted by Yan Yin stimulated Yu Yin. Since Yu Yin was making out with the man she liked, Yu Yin quickly became carried away by the pleasure of kissing and stopped struggling. As Yan Yin sucked on Yu Yin's lips forcefully, Yu Yin slowly stuck out the tip of her tongue in response. The ambience was filled with eroticism as they moved from the ground to the bed. Ever since Su Ling moved away, Yu Yin was the only one left in this dormitory. That was why Yan Yin targeted her at this time. Yan Yin's heart was racing. Although he had mentally prepared himself in advance, he didn't have any experience in this aspect. The last time, he had only kissed her lips and touched her chest. Subscribe and read more novel to help us update chapter quickly. Thank you so much. Chapter 466 Phone Call When Yan Yin saw Yu Yin lying on the bed with a dazed expression, his throat bobbed. He was overcome with lust, and he couldn't wait to move his lips to Yu Yan's earlobe to lick it. 1. Yu Yin felt her spine go numb. The places Yan Yin had kissed felt itchy. Yu Yin was wearing a jumper, so Yan Yin pushed her clothes up to take them off. When Yu Yin, who was only wearing a light shirt under her sweater, was suddenly stimulated by the coldness in the air, she came back to her senses. She hurriedly grabbed Yan Yin's hand, which was taking off her clothes, and panted weakly as she said, No, no. We're not married yet. Yan Yin's lower body was already swollen and he was overcome with lust, so he immediately replied, Then let's get married. As he spoke, his hands didn't stop their movements at all. One took it off and the other pulled it down. Yu Yin struggled for a while before completely sobering up. Although the soundproofing of the room wasn't bad, Yu Yin felt scared and felt that if they were even a little bit louder, others might find out. She could only reject him in a low voice, we can't do it now. We're not married yet. Yan Yin knew that Yu Yin was amenable to coaxing but not coercion, so he didn't dare to go against her. He could only grab Yu Yan's hand and press it on the bed. Then, he leaned over and kissed Yu Yan's mouth. Yu Yan, I'm not taking things to the last step. I just want to touch you. I like you too much, so I can't control myself. When Yu Yan heard this, she felt a little relieved. She was also a little smug that she made Yan Yan fall for her, so she said coquettishly, then touch me through my clothes. Yan Yan could only compromise. He suppressed his desire and said dotingly, all right, I'll listen to you. Although Yan Yin agreed, his hand quickly entered Yu Yan's long john and he felt Yu Yan's soft skin again. Yu Yan was so frightened that she exclaimed, but Yan Yin kissed Yu Yan to stop her. Yan Yin had never touched other women before. The last time he was by the small pond with Yu Yan, he touched her through her clothes. This time, on the bed, Yan Yin took off Yu Yan's lingerie and grabbed Yu Yan's breasts. Yu Yan had big breasts. When Yan Yin grabbed her breasts, he almost couldn't help but ejaculate, but he didn't dare to and only kissed Yu Yan's mouth to calm himself down. 2. Yu Yan felt the roughness of Yan Yin's palm. At this moment, she was rubbing her most delicate part. Her entire body suddenly felt hot and itchy. She wanted to object, but she didn't want to either. Yu Bing's face was burning. She felt a little bashful and said in a low voice, You liar. How embarrassing. Take your hand away. 1. After Yan Yin recovered, he chuckled and coaxed, What's there to be shy about? We'll do it after we get married anyway. When Yu Yin heard Yan Yin reveal his intention to get married, she revealed a sweet smile. 
Yan Yin felt that Ji Yan had loosened up, so he said sweet nothings to tease Ji Yan. Yan Yin appeased Ji Yan until she took off her clothes. However, because Ji Yan insisted on not losing her virginity before marriage, they did everything except the last step. Yan Yin had basically achieved his goal now. Although he didn't break through Yu Yan's last line of defense, the deed confirmed that Yu Yan was his woman. The two of them slept together without a marriage certificate. In this era, this was called adultery. If someone found out and reported it, they would go to jail, so Yu Yan didn't dare to stay any longer. Yu Yan opened the door. After confirming that it was safe, Yu Yan sneaked out and ran back to his room. After the holidays ended, the food factory entered a busy rush period. Any factory worker who was idle was mobilized. In the entire factory, only Wen Qin could sit in the office because she had to do the financial accounting at the end of the year. When Wen Qin heard the phone in Yu Bing's office ring, she was afraid that something urgent had happened, so she asked Sun Hui, who had followed her to work, to call Yu Bing. Sun Hui obediently put down the rattle drum he was playing with and jogged out of the office. When Yu Bing was found, she was checking the quality of the gift boxes sent by the villagers in the warehouse. She couldn't leave, so she turned around and said to Sun Hui, Xiao Hui, go back first. I'll go back and check the call records after I'm done. Sun Hui remembered Yu Bing's words and told Wen Qin. At first, Yu Bing remembered it, but when other work came, she forgot. When Wen Qin heard the phone ring for the fifth time, she was a little worried. She asked her son about Yu Bing's location and went straight to her. Yu Bing, I heard your office phone ring a few times. There might be something urgent. Only then did Yu Bing stop packing and return to the office to check the number. She realized that they were all the same number, so she called back. As soon as the call went through, the person picked up. Good lord, you finally picked up. Subscribe and read more novel to help us update chapter quickly. Thank you so much. Chapter 467 Cued Yu Bing recognized Zhang Li's voice. I'm really sorry. I was helping in the warehouse and didn't pick up the call in time. 1. After wasting so much time, Zhang Li didn't dare to waste any more time. He told her the purpose of the call directly. Xiao Li's turn is here. There was originally a child in front of her, but after the doctor checked, he realized that the other party's eyes were infected, so the spot was given to Xiaoli. Hurry up and find Xiaoxing to wire 10,000 yuan to my account. This is the surgery deposit. Only after confirming that you have the ability to pay for this surgery can you keep the spot. I called you immediately after I received the news. I've already spent all my money at the end of the year. Otherwise, I would have paid it directly. The child behind Shali is a big shot, so the money has to be transferred to my account today. If we're late, we might not be able to keep this spot. Hurry up and pack your luggage to prepare. After I inform you guys over the phone, bring her over for a preoperative checkup. Yu Bing hurriedly thanked him. Zhang Li, thank you so much. I'll go look for Xiao Xing immediately. After Yu Bing hung up and ran to the Xiao family's house, Xiao Lin said that Xiao Xing had gone to the county city. Yu Bing could only return to the office and call the county city's transport team. However, she was surprised to find out that Xiao Xing happened to go to the neighboring county today and would only return at 4 or 5 in the afternoon. They couldn't get into contact with him now. Yu Bing looked at the time. It was already 2.30 p.m. The post office got off work at 5 p.m. By the time Xiao Xing returned, it would be too late, so Yu Bing could only deal with it herself. Yu Bing told Jiang Chun about the situation first before telling her where she was going. Then, she took her work pass home and took out her passbook. She realized that there were only 8,520 yuan in her account and she was still short of 1,500 yuan. This number was a huge sum of money at this time. After Yu Bing thought about it for a moment, she could only ask Wu Jin for this money. Yu Bing's money was able to increase so quickly because she had approved goods from the factory and sold them on the black market with Wu Jin and Xiao Xing. After Yu Bing jogged all the way to the village committee, she found Wu Jin and told him about this. In this day and age, there wasn't much money in the bank, so Wu Jin left his money at home. After withdrawing the cash, he handed it to Yu Bing. Yu Bing drove the tractor all the way to the bank to get the money. There were only two tellers, but there were five people waiting in front of her. In this day and age, there were very few individuals who came to banks. These five people were all here for business, so it took even longer. At this moment, it was already 3.50 p.m. Yu Bing was so anxious that she stomped her feet even if she got the money in seconds. It would take time for her to queue up to transfer the money and for Zhang Li to queue up to withdraw the money. Even finding the president might not be useful. Although the food factory was a customer, others were here on behalf of the factory and agency, so the president couldn't afford to offend them. 
Seeing that the counter was handling the deposit business of a state-owned factory, Yu Bing had an idea and found the next person. The other party was a woman in her 40s, but her hair had been permed. The ends of her short hair curled up slightly, but she was wearing a plain gray cotton shirt that everyone on the street was wearing. However, the woman had tied a silk scarf around her neck. Yu Bing walked forward with a smile and sat beside the woman. Hello, your hairstyle is so pretty. You look so good in it. You must have spent a lot of money on it, right? A faint smile appeared on the woman's originally expressionless face. It only cost me five yuan. My hair has been permed for a month already. It doesn't look as good as when I first got it done. Yu Bing looked unconvinced and said in surprise, Really? I thought you just got it done. The curls are just right. It looks very natural and beautiful. Yu Bing's tone was very sincere. As the woman looked up and touched the end of her hair, the smile on her face deepened. Then, Yu Bing said, There are so many people today. You're also here for business, right? The woman nodded and complained, It's fine if there are many people, but there are only two personnel handling it. When Yu Bing heard this, she took out 10 yuan from her backpack and secretly showed it to the woman as she asked softly, I want to exchange number plates with you. This 10 yuan is the fee. What do you think? The woman was in no hurry to get the agency's business done, since it wasn't her own business. As long as she got a number, it would eventually be her turn. When the woman saw the money, her eyes flickered. She had been thinking about perming her hair again before the new year. Now that she had the money for getting two perms, she handed the number plate in her hand to Yu Bing. Young lady, you have something urgent, right? Yu Bing smiled helplessly and said, Indeed. Fortunately, you're easy to talk to. Others might not be willing to swap with me. Although she had gotten the number, Yu Bing still continued to chat with the woman. This made the woman have a good impression of her. You're quite savvy. Subscribe and read more novel to help us update chapter quickly. Thank you so much. Chapter 468 Reluctant Yu Bing scratched her head and smiled as she said, I learned it from others. Number 06, please come to the counter. After Yu Bing looked at the number plate, she turned around and said goodbye to the woman. Then, she sat at the counter as she took out all the money. The post office wasn't far from the bank. After Yu Bing arrived, she began to queue again. Fortunately, the money was successfully transferred at 4.30. Then, she immediately called Zhang Li to collect the money. Yu Bing wasn't in a hurry to leave. She waited at the side for Zhang Li to reply before returning to the village. When Yu Bing returned to the factory and was about to get off work at 7, she received a call from Zhang Li, who asked them to bring Xiao Li to S-City as soon as possible tomorrow. As soon as she hung up, Xiao Xing ran into Yu Bing's office and asked Yu Bing in a daze, it's Xiao Li's turn for the surgery? Yu Bing nodded with a smile. Then, she stood up and walked forward to share the good news. I just finished talking to Zhang Li on the phone. He said that the spot has been confirmed. Xiao Li has to go over as soon as possible. This time, we can have a festive new year. Looks like. Before Yu Bing could finish speaking, she was hugged by Xiao Xing. As she buried her face in Xiao Xing's chest, she heard Xiao Xing say in a low voice, Yu Bing, thank you. If it weren't for you, I would have missed the chance this time. After Xiao Xing returned to the village, he met Wu Jing and found out that Yu Bing had gathered money for Xiao Li's surgery fees. Yu Bing leaned back and said gently, you should thank yourself. If not for your business channel and your dividends, I might not have been able to gather so much money. After Xiao Xing let go, he smiled at Yu Bing and rubbed the top of her head. I won't say any pleasantries. I'll bring you a gift when I come back. The factory is so busy now, so don't waste your time with me. Yu Bing wanted to go with him, but at this time, she still had to participate in the food factory's dividend accounting. She could only reply helplessly, there might be a recovery period after the surgery. I wonder if you guys can come back before the new year. Xiao Sheng had asked about this the last time he went, so he replied, I don't think we'll be back. So soon. She'll have to be observed for at least a month. The three of them, Xiao Sheng and his siblings, would have to spend the new year in S-City. Before they even separated, Yu Bing began to feel reluctant. Then bring some sausages. It's not like in the village. You're unfamiliar with the place, so it won't be easy to buy things. Xiao Sheng had always felt that Yu Bing only felt gratitude towards him. She might like him a little, but not that much. Seeing the reluctance in Yu Bing's eyes, other than feeling a little touched, Xiao Sheng also felt a little more confident in their relationship. All right, don't worry. I'll prepare these. Yu Bing reminded him a few more times. She knew that Xiao Xing had been outside for so many years and his abilities were not inferior to hers, but she couldn't help but remind him. 
Perhaps it was because the two of them had been having tutoring lessons every night recently, or because the new year was approaching, the merrier the reunion was supposed to be, the lonelier she felt. Yu Bing felt that she had been thinking about Xiaoxing much more recently than before. Xiaoxing had to look for Wu Jin to get a permission slip, so the two of them chatted for a while before parting ways. After Yu Bing ate, she began to prepare things at home. She steamed all the 30 eggs that she had stocked up at home and made 20 scallion pancakes for Xiaoxing and the others to eat on the way. Then, she took two bottles of beef chili sauce from the kitchen cabinet. Because it was their own food, the filling was full of meat. The supply of meat in the big city was very tightly regulated, so it was better to be more prepared. Just as she was covering the food with newspapers, Yu Bing saw Xiaoxing enter the door. She smiled and said, I was about to send you food. I didn't expect you to come first. Xiaoxing placed the money wrapped in newspaper on the table. When he heard this, he said happily, it means that we have telepathy. I've already returned Uncle Jin's money. This is yours. Yu Bing glanced at it and said, leave it there. Then, Yu Bing placed the things she had prepared into the cloth bag and handed them to Xiaoxing. This should be enough to last you guys the entire trip. Have you settled everything? After Xiaoxing took them, he looked at Yu Bing as he replied, I've already given instructions for the black market and the transport team. I also went to the station to buy a ticket to City H at 9 o'clock tomorrow. I'll call you when I get to S City. Upon hearing this, Yu Bing said, then you have to wake up at 6 tomorrow. I'll drive you there. How could Xiaoxing bear to let Yu Bing wake up so early? He hurriedly refused. You still have to go to the factory, so don't delay your work. I've already called Wu Qing. It's farming break now, so he's very idle. Subscribe and read more novel to help us update chapter quickly. Thank you so much. Chapter 469 Good Phenomenon Seeing that Xiaoxing had already made the arrangements, Yu Bing didn't insist. All right, be careful. Call me if anything happens. When Xiaoxing heard Yu Bing's concerned tone, the corners of his mouth curled up slightly. All right, don't worry. I'll be careful. Yu Bing felt that she had already said everything she needed to say, so she looked at Xiaoxing and urged, it's getting late. You still have to wash up and pack your things when you get back. You also have to wake up early tomorrow, so hurry up and go back to finish your work before resting early. Xiaoxing pursed his lips and rubbed Yu Bing's head. You heartless girl. I probably won't be able to come back until the new year. Why aren't you cherishing your time with me now? When Yu Bing heard this, her fair face flushed. It's not like you won't come back. Although she said that, Yu Bing still chose to continue chatting with Xiaoxing. Are you guys going to stay in the guest house after you go there? Xiaoxing shook his head. The guest house is too expensive. If I stay for a month, even an eight-person bunk bed costs 0.2 yuan. I can stay anywhere alone, but with Shaolin, I definitely have to choose a two-person one, so it'll cost 0.5 yuan a day. I might as well rent a house near the hospital. It'll probably be 7 to 10 yuan a month. Occasionally make soup to nourish their bodies. It would also save money, but his culinary skills. Yu Bing nodded. If he rented a house, he could cook his own food. S City's cuisine didn't suit the taste of the people in Jiang province. It was fine to try something new on a business trip, but they definitely wouldn't be able to tolerate it over the long term. He could occasionally make soup to nourish their bodies. It would also save money, but his culinary skills. Yu Bing glanced at Xiao Sheng as she said tactfully, I'll write a few recipes with low failure rates for you. Coupled with the few dishes you've improved on previously, it'll be enough. After Yu Bing took out a pen and paper, she sat at the table as she started writing. Xiao Sheng smiled and sat down as well. When I didn't know you, no matter how bad my cooking tasted, they still ate it. Now, they've been completely spoiled by your good culinary skills. Yu Bing was smug. The increase in demand means that the supply base has improved. This is a good sign. Humans' basic survival needs are to eat their fill and wear warm clothes. Only by resolving this problem can they eat well and dress well. After Yu Bing finished writing, handed over the recipes. Xiaoxing took it and folded it before putting it in his pocket. His family could earn so much money because they were lucky enough to meet Yu Bing. Most people were still struggling to make ends meet. This was the reality of this era. As Xiaoxing recalled the changes in his family over the past year, he said with emotion, I wonder when the current situation will change. Yu Bing was stunned for a moment, but she didn't dare to make it too obvious. She only hinted, soon. The wrong decision will eventually be remedied. Yu Bing was only worried that her earning speed couldn't keep up with the change in policy. After she and Xiaoxing went to school next year, she would definitely not be able to continue being the factory director of the food factory. Xiaoxing would probably have to put his job on hold as well. Yu Bing's first choice was definitely a school in the capital. 
Be it educational conditions, connections, or business policy, going to the capital to develop was the best choice. However, the living expenses in the capital were high, and they would be living near the cream of the crop in the country. Even after this 10-year catastrophe, those families with deep foundations still secretly preserved a certain amount of strength. A starving camel is still bigger than a horse. Their bit of money was completely insufficient. The two of them chatted for a while before bidding farewell and parting ways. The next morning, Xiaoxin got on the bus with his siblings. The He Mountain village was still enveloped in darkness in winter. The north wind howled fiercely, and even though they were wrapped up, their eyes were still trembling from the cold. However, it also confirmed that the sky before dawn was the darkest, but it was the closest to dawn. The three siblings in the car were burning with passion as they rushed forward with the hope their family had for many years. After the Xiao family left, Yu Bing didn't need to hold classes anymore. Because of the snow on the ground, it wasn't convenient for her to run anymore. The only two places she went to were the factory and her home. After Yu Yin was issued the permission slip, she also went home. Yan Yin performed very well this time and bought food for Yu Yin to bring back. He even sent her to City H. Among the intellectuals in the village, other than a few who returned home with the agency permission slip sent by their parents, the others accepted spending the new year in the village as if they were used to it. Yu Bing was relieved when she received a call from Xiao Xing, who said that they had arrived in S City safely. Then, she immersed herself in work. Subscribe and read more novel to help us update chapter quickly. Thank you so much. Chapter 470 Meeting Gift It was another day of working overtime. Because a factory suddenly increased the quantity of the order and Yu Bing couldn't bear to lose the large order, after she discussed the production progress with Jiang Chun, she accepted the order. The food factory, which was only a little busy, was working even harder now. Yu Bing hired five part-time workers to help out. Yu Bing moved her shoulders to relieve her stiff muscles. After she entered the house with Jiang Chun, she said weakly, Oh my god, I feel like my shoulders don't even belong to me anymore. Yu Bing was like a screw now. She helped out wherever she needed to. She even had to do heavy manual labor like this when there was a shortage of people. Compared to Jiang Chun, who stayed in the production workshop to help bottle and bag things, she was much more tired. Jiang Chun rubbed her wrist and replied with a smile, All the best. There's still a week before the order will be completed. Victory is just ahead. All right, go lie down for a while. I'll go cook. Yu Bing didn't listen to Jiang Chun's arrangements. She followed her into the kitchen and said, You're not any better than me. Let's cook together so we can get things done faster. I think we should just cook noodles. It's faster and more convenient. Everyone will get two eggs and some sausages and vegetables. There was meat, eggs, and vegetables. The food was quite good. Jiang Chun's eyes lit up. Then I'll help you. After dinner, Jiang Chun couldn't wait to take out the letter Zhao Lin had helped her receive in the afternoon. When Yu Bing returned to the living room, she saw Jiang Chun smiling foolishly at the letter. Yu Bing teased, you're smiling so brightly again. What did your person do to you? Jiang Chun turned to look at Yu Bing and shared excitedly, I've passed my political review. Chui Jin's marriage application report to the army has also been approved. It was more troublesome for a soldier to get married. The marriage partner had to go through the military's political review. This review wasn't only for a soldier's partner. The partner's acquaintances and immediate family had to be investigated to ensure that they wouldn't be infiltrated by the enemy. Yu Bing also sat down at the table happily. Congratulations. After this round, it's basically a sure bet, a shoe in Jiang Chun smiled sweetly and lowered her head as she said in embarrassment, Chui Jin even said that he applied for a family visit leave for 20 days. He'll come over to register his marriage with me before the new year. When Yu Bing heard this and looked at the only bedroom, she suddenly felt a little redundant. After she thought for a moment, she said, then I'll stay in the dormitory building. You guys can stay here. Jiang Chun hurriedly shook her head. There's no need to go through so much trouble. We'll go register our marriage on the day he comes over. After that, we'll go back to his house and stay for 10 days. Then, we'll go to my house to visit my parents during the rest you Bing smiled nonchalantly. What's there to be sorry about? Getting married and going home for the new year is a serious of the time. With that, Jiang Chun looked at Yu Bing apologetically. Yu Bing, I'm sorry that I have to leave you here alone for the new year. Yu Bing smiled nonchalantly. What's there to be sorry about? Getting married and going home for the new year is a serious matter. I don't lack anything here, so don't worry about me. You should think about what gift to prepare for your parents-in-law. Jiang Chun blushed when she heard Yu Bing's teasing, but she quickly became a little vexed. Chui Jin's family is quite well off, so I don't know what to prepare. I still have some dried mushrooms that I asked Xiao Xing to buy last time. 
I plan to bring that with me, but those things definitely won't be enough. I have to prepare some other things. Dry mushrooms were a specialty of the city of Yungue province in the southwest. They were nutritious and tasty. To the inland area, they were considered very expensive gifts. However, in addition to cost, quantity was also important. There were indeed too few in terms of quantity, and it wasn't auspicious to give gifts in single quantities. Yu Bing gave Jiang Chun an idea. Since it's still early, you might as well make something for them yourself. Sincerity is the most important thing. She had an expensive gift and a gift to express her sincerity. As long as the other party wasn't someone picky, it would be enough. Jiang Chun nodded. Then I'll knit two scarves for my in-laws. By the way, I'll also knit wool gloves for the twins. These are easy to knit. When we're done with the factory's work, we can buy yarn from town during the holidays. After the factory completed all the orders as scheduled, it was time for the holidays. Because of the year-end dividends, work in the accounting room was still ongoing. Subscribe and read more novel to help us update chapter quickly. Thank you so much.